this is sorry with modern masters top 10 list from 2017 an incredible set here we've got some great cards being reprinted across the board in the honorable mentions here i've got really cards that fit into a little bit different categories here I may do a list of the top 10 sideboard cards and Graph Digger's Cage would hit that list. Coiling Oracle is one of the best commons in here and Sphinx's Revelation is just a great commander card. Abrupt Decay is a multi-use card in pretty much every green black deck. Wonderful cards here. When this is the quality of cards that didn't make the list, you know there's going to be some good cards on the top 10. Number 10 spot here is one of my personal favorites, Voice of Resurgence. When you're playing fair and you want to keep people fair in Modern or in Commander, this card is amazing. It is a great pickup. It's going to drop in price here and a few months from now is going to be a good time to get your play set. Crater Hoof Behemoth, wonderful, wonderful card here. One of the most exciting cards to see printed. Huge Commander favorite. Also, I believe there's a way to try to get this guy to work in Modern, and it's probably got something to do with Shrine of Nykthos. Summoner's Trap is an honorable mention here. Just a fun card overall. Red. Ooh, we needed the Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide is back, and Goblin Guide is going to be an incredible pull from this set. This is one of the best one drops ever printed. I've played this in Burn again and again, and it is well worth it. The card advantage you give to your opponent does not matter. They're going to die with six cards in hand and you're going to feel so good. Honorable mention here to Blood Moon. It is a super mean card. I actually don't think it should be in modern. It just doesn't have the right sideboard feel to it. But if it's there, you might as well use it. Incredible card. I played in vintage also. Watching people just have their face drop when they drop a bazaar and you drop a blood moon. Ooh. Keeper of Silence. Wonderful, wonderful card here. One of those commanders that people have been looking forward to seeing a reprint. Very nice modern card, shuts down a lot of decks. 3-4 Flyer lives through Lightning Bolt. Honorable mention here to Path to Exile at the Uncommon level. This is one of those cards that you can print and print and print and people just need more and more and more to play modern. It's also excellent removal in other formats. Tarmogoyf. When Tarmogoyf is number six, you know the set's going to have some good stuff. I was a little worried Tarmogoyf was not going to be reprinted in this set. The price tag is still really high. A lot of people need this card to play in modern. I'm super happy that it's still in the set. Number five here, Snapcaster Mage, one of the best blue cards ever printed. I play this guy in pretty much every format. Just incredible. The new artwork looks amazing. I look forward to seeing it in foil. It could be a stunning foil. Which of the Snapcasters is your favorite artwork? Damnation. Ooh, I did a remix video on Damnation, and I got a bunch of down votes because they thought it was an announcement for a reprint. I'm so happy that this card is being reprinted, and it is one of the fan favorites in here. Everybody loves this card. It is great for Modern Fairies, which I think is a real deck. It's definitely playable. If you can limit your life loss, you've got some wonderful control aspects. Stay away from the shocks and the fetches. Try to pare those down some. Keep your life at a high total. Play Damnation. Play Bitter Blossom. And crush people. Honorable mention here to Gristlebrand. He's made a lot of other people's top lists. Very, very powerful card. Number three, Liliana of the Veil. Vale. This is number one on a lot of other people's lists. She is an incredible planeswalker. Just great one-on-one. -on -one. Not bad in multiplayer, although she does draw some hate because she is so good in one-on-one -on -one that people go after a little bit irrationally in multiplayer. This is the type of card that keeps people fair. I've played this all the way back to vintage. I play it a lot in Legacy, super happy to see her in this set. Another call out here on the Uncommons is IOK, Inquisition of Kozilek at Uncommon. This card has become more popular than Thoughtseize in Modern. Seeing it back at Uncommon is going to help it in the market significantly. Very, very happy about this reprint. 
The number two here is Cavern of Souls. And this is the one card that pains me a little bit in this set. I'm super happy that they reprinted it. It's needed, but it has moved up to Mythic. I'm not covering finances in here, except that this one is a buy. You need four Cavern of Souls for the decks that run Cavern of Souls. And having it move up to Mythic makes it much more difficult to get a hold of. If you do not have your play set of Caverns, I would definitely pick them up with this set. And very early on, I would not wait for the price to drop on them because it will not. Being at Mythic means it's going to be really tough to get a hold of and people need four of. The number one spot is the Zendikar Fetches. Super happy to see these back and at the rare level. I was worried that they would move them up to Mythic. This means that you have a really good chance of getting at least one, if not two, fetches in a box. 93% of boxes are going to have one or more fetches. 66% of boxes are going to have two or more fetches. Thank you to Saffron Olive for doing the math there. One of the best magic finance people out there. These are the choke point for lots of modern decks. Getting these into the market is going to help significantly with the accessibility of modern. When modern decks cost as much as legacy decks, people don't want to play modern. Bringing down the price of modern is going to help solidify it as an amazing eternal format for years to come. Very, very happy with the fetches in this set. Thank you, Wizards. One of my next videos is gonna be the top 10 best commander cards from modern masters 17 leave in the comments which cards you think will hit that list if you have a suggestion there that i hadn't thought of i may even mention you in the video thank you to everybody who helps support this channel i greatly appreciate it i've got some changes coming to my patreon account that i'm going to be announcing soon thank you to chess.com a sponsor of mythic mtg tech and until next time choose the cards wisely